Hi, we were very lucky last year to be invited by Nottingham University to road task their e-assessment platform called Rogo. My name's Viv Roll from De Montford University and I'm sorry I can't be in your end of project conference. I'm at an open education conference in Vancouver next week. I worked alongside Ian Bloor, who's in our Central Information Technology Media Services Division. So we wanted to road test this e-assessment platform Touchstone, which later became Rogo, and then explore the pitfalls and positives along the way. Um, so three lessons, well loads of positives, what a great service, it's a brilliant platform, initial training and int interaction from Nottingham was brilliant and then vitally the ongoing support that we did need from the team was equally excellent and very responsive so that was a huge positive. In terms of usability, we don't have learning technologists to help academics. So from an academic, non-technical type of person perspective, it's a very usable platform. There's a wide range of e-assessment questions, multiple choice, add-on in images. And you can use this to a really advanced level. And I haven't seen another platform like this. It wipes the floor with Blackboard that can't do half this stuff. We enrolled students on and that worked well and the students found it easy to use and enjoyed using it. The interface looked good when you've set up a formative quiz on screen. Afterwards, it was really easy to access the student reports. Again, I, you know, I wouldn't say I was overly technical, but as an academic, I could go in and look at class data, which you also can't do within Blackboard. You can only look at individuals. But technically, we had some problems. Um, this was partly because of resource issues within our central um, divisions. They'd undergone a lot of redundancies. There was a lot of restructuring, although we did have commitment for the project. That delayed things. We also couldn't inspire all the upgrades and releases from Touchstone to Rogo without changing the source code. Um, our technical team fed back they would need training in Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP so our, our technical team would need to build up their knowledge of how the application works to take it forward and I think a lot of this was due to our software environment being too old which DMU has acknowledged and is about to invest about £20 million so a really positive start to the use of Rogo I think it's brilliant but with these technical caveats should it be rolled out across universities more widely you'd need to make sure you've got the resources in place and the university has got the technical infrastructure in place so a big thank you for Nottingham for giving us the opportunity and we hope to continue using it.